Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So as we have been talking about on the channel, Mozilla once again is starting to refocus a lot of its attention back onto the Firefox web browser after quite a long layoff where nothing really major was happening in Firefox. The UI had remained the same for quite some time and there were no real major new features that were rolling out. And recently, as we have been talking about in posting, um, there are a whole lot of new features that Mozilla is starting to test and also some of these are already making their way into the stable version with some user interface tweaks and adjustments. And one of these is that Firefox, as I mentioned in a video, which will be linked down below and in the end screen that I posted yesterday, is that Firefox is going to be getting native marker effect on Windows 11. Now, even above all these recent improvements, Mozilla has also recently announced that it's now starting to roll out performance improvements to Firefox, which are focused on the browser's WebAssembly runtime, which apparently has been having a negative effect uh, in some situations on the browser's performance. And Mozilla says that some processing tasks are now more than 75 times faster in Firefox. Now, this is all according to a post on Mozilla's SpiderMonkey development blog, which, by the way, I'll leave this um, link down below um, if you want some more information because it's quite in-depth. And if you are interested in Firefox's performance and would like a lot more in-depth information, then go check this post out. I'm just going to give you a little bit of info and give you a quick overview as to what this is all about for the purpose of this video. Now, in case you're unaware, more advanced web apps and games use code that compiles to WebAssembly. And WebAssembly is mainly used for complex video, audio, and 3D rendering tools, such as the web versions of Adobe Photoshop, SketchUp, Google Earth, and games built with Unity. And this, according to Mozilla, is where the improvements are going to be coming because um, Firefox, up until recently, according to Mozilla, has had some performance issues with compiling WebAssembly code which can slow down responsiveness and initial loading times for web apps using it, such as SketchUp, Adobe Photoshop, Google Earth, and so on. Now, if you want more information how they actually got these results, go check the blog post out as mentioned. All the information's in there. But uh, just the long and the short of this whole uh, story is the end result is that Photoshop, Google Earth, and other web apps and games using WebAssembly should, according to Mozilla, generally load faster in the browser now. Now, this won't apply to the entire browser, which won't be getting a increase um, by 70 time, 75 times more, but it will apply to certain operations uh, in the browser, which will be faster, like as an example, loading Photoshop and Google Earth, just to mention two examples. And Mozilla also says in this blog post, in this Adobe Photoshop section is one of the large WebAssembly modules used by the free online Photoshop demo now compiles in 14 seconds in Firefox after these performance uh, increases instead of four minutes, which is quite an increase. And one test in the Jetstream 2 web benchmark now finishes in 0.2 seconds instead of 2.8 seconds. So if those claims are true, then um, go check your Mozilla Firefox web browser out, especially, as I mentioned, if you are um, running um, web applications and games that compiles to WebAssembly. Um, go check it out and let me know if you have noticed a performance boost in Firefox. And Mozilla says those improvements are rolling out, so it's going to be interesting to see if that is actually noticeable. And I thought this was interesting. And once again, just another indication that Mozilla is refocusing a lot of its attention back onto the Firefox web browser. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.